colleague, um, Mark Way. Mark is just here, and Mark with, works with me. Mark's, Mark's the brains, the, the coder, you know, does all that really cool stuff. Um, and I only just start, recently started working with Ma what, Mark. By way of background on me, I work for the Australian Catholic Bishops' Conference, which in layman's terms is the Catholic Church. It's a bit like um, working for Prime Minister and Cabinet for the Catholic Church. And um, I have the daunting honour of looking after about 14 websites, including our top-level domain, catholic.org.au. And Mark's part of our team, um, and he provides um, invaluable technical support for me. A bit of background on me to understand, to, to put my talk into context, is that I actually um, don't come from a coding or technical background. I'm a marketer. Uh, this is a second career for me. I started out um, running public art museums. And uh, it was a very busy job, and I s was very interested in what was happening in the internet. And I'm old enough to remember what it was like to actually have to handwrite copy and use typewriters that go clunk, clunk, clunk. And I can remember the great excitement when we got an electric typewriter with one of those little balls that span around, spun around, and you can actually see the, the text on a little console at the top. And then, you know, halfway through my um, museum career, I uh, saw the introduction of um, computers and the internet in mainstream business usage. And I saw this wonderful thing called the internet whizzing by, and I was really interested in, in getting involved in it, and I was particularly interested in knowing how to build websites. In the meantime, um, my core specialisation, I have a Masters in Marketing, I'm really interested in audi audience engagement and um, audience development. So in 2003, I um, stepped out of that career and set up a small business called Yellow Brick Road Marketing, where, which was a platform um, upon which I could learn and teach myself how um, to build websites. And in 2007, I learned about the awesomeness of Joomla. And um, I actually found out about it at uh, Melbourne Joomla Day in 2007. Or sh should I say, at, in January 2007, I went to a, we um, a wedding and someone told me about Joomla and I came home, got on the internet, downloaded Joomla, saw that there was a thing called the Joomla Day in Melbourne, quickly booked in, went down and just jumped in. Um, at that time, I asked whether there was a, a Canberra Joomla user group and they said, no, would you like to set one up? And so I did. So I coordinate the Canberra Joomla user group. And um, I'm doing a certificate for in programming, but I've decided I don't want to be a coder. That's why we have awesome people like Mark. Mark's a coder, very experienced person, and it's a great privilege to work with him. So with that little bit of background, it'll help you understand why um, I'm talking about Equit. Uh, I've got a presentation happening here, and I've done a lot of run-throughs with it, but there's always, it's called Murphy's Law, always something is sort of slips up. And so I couldn't connect my laptop to the internet, so I've put it on, on Peter's, and Peter's is slow, so just bear with me if there's any little glitches. Now, can I just ask, does anyone have a shop operating on their website at the minute? Um, do, have you heard, hand up if you've heard of Equid at all? You have. Do you use it successfully? Right, okay. So, and um, I, I'm assuming everyone has a certain degree of experience with Joomla for this talk. Although I have to say that it's sort of not a high tech talk, it's low tech. Um, and because um, I remember what it was like in those early days coming to Joomla conferences, Joomla days, and just being totally daunted by all the technical stuff. And I think as a project, and it's interesting you're talking about the project, we really need to welcome in people who don't know anything and help them feel comfortable um, and not like put them off with all the sort of dazzle dazzle of code and stuff. So um, that's where I'm coming from with this talk. Now what my talk is named, um, I specifically want to talk about why I selected Equid for a particular business need. We very often go and jump on and build stuff and do things without actually thinking what the business need is. So I'm going to start by talking about I've got my talk outline here. Um, is this going to work? It's not transitioning. Press left to right. Yeah. What's that? Left to right? Yeah. Okay, good. That's no, still not working? No. 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 Oh, it's changing here, but not on the 
It's changing here, but not on the screen. Right. I'm just going to talk for my notes for a minute because you don't actually need to see the words. Um, business needs. So what I'm going to talk about today, first of all, is our business needs. That's really important to put into context um, why we've selected Equid. And then I'm going to talk about what our, our, um, what our solution was, which was Equid. And we already know that up front. And then I'm going to show you how we set it up, how we deployed it. Uh, and then I'm going to talk about the benefits of Equid. And then I'm going to talk about the limitations, because every system has its limitations. And as long as you know that up front, um, then that's fine. That, that works okay. So we can go to the next slide. So, what are our business needs? Um, when I went to, um, to start working at the Bishops Conference 18 months ago, the business, I pretty quickly saw how much of a web presence we have. As I said, about 14 websites that I've counted, and they're just the ones that I'm looking after. Um, and then we have our top level domain, catholic.org.au, which is a really massive site. And uh, I can't stress to you more strongly how big the Australian Catholic Bishops Conference is. It's a top level um, like outfit that has underneath it big organisations like Catholic Health Australia, Catholic Education, um, all the social services. And we all know how big the Catholic education sector is, how big the Catholic health sector is. So that's the organisation I work for. And our business manager wanted one central shop for all the product that the whole of the Catholic Bishops Conference produces. Next slide, please, Mark. But what we also wanted, because we have so many web websites, we wanted to have um, satellite shops. We wanted to, with selected items. So the examples that I'm going to show today and the trial of this process or this setup have been done on the um, a Catholic Inquiry Centre website and also the uh, National Office of Evangelisation. So each of those uh, um, agencies actually produced their own product. So what we needed was a shop set up where we could have our main shop on our main top level domain and then have the um, agency specific product on their particular websites. We wanted to have central financial control so that all the money comes channeling in through into our bank account through our financial um, um, department. We wanted to make it really flexible and easy for deployment. I was talking to Max last night, um, a colleague uh, uh, from Melbourne, and he was singing the praises of Magento and saying how Magento is wonderful, it's used by you know, all the big businesses like Maya and so forth. But it's a big complex system. And bearing in mind my background, I don't come with a highly technical background and also a lot of the people that look after our websites aren't technical. So we needed it to be flexible and easy to deploy. We also needed it to be easy to use because the people looking after the websites and doing the admin, um, is there something wrong? Moving out of frame. Oh, moving out of the frame. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We need it um, easy to use and we also need a good support. And who doesn't with any bit of software? Can we go to the next slide, please? So what is Equid? Equid basically is um, a, a cloud solution. It's, um, Equid is pronounced Equid, short for e-commerce widgets. Um, and by the way, this presentation will be available on SlideShare later, so you don't really need to make any notes if you don't want to. It's a shopping cart that uses cloud technology, um, and, and uh, it's an online shopping cart where you can centrally list all your inventory and manage all your sales. And it seamlessly integrates with any website, not just Joomla websites, but any websites. And once Equid code is deployed at any one of your websites, the online store appears immediately. You can also include it in, um, in your social networking channels. And I've got an example of how we've deployed it on our Facebook page. So I'm going to actually now go to um, a, a demo of um, what Equid looks like on the web. And what we have here, Mark, if you can just sort of um, play around there. So, uh, <clears throat> Basically, it's a, this is their demo site. Very professional looking. 
And might I say that with um, a bit of coding skill, you can actually customise it um, highly. Um, but for low skill people, you don't need to really do any customization at all. If you can click on one of the products, please, Mark, you can see that um, you can have heaps of information on a product. Uh, you've got the add to, add to bag button. Can you just demonstrate adding, a, adding to bag and then opening the shopping bag at the top there? And then you can go to checkout. So it's got all the stuff that you need for a professional online shop. And there is um, ways of connecting to payment gateways, which I'll tell you later. Okay. So what we see here, if we go to the next slide, if we can go back to the... Um, it's actually um, command and then tab. Yep. What we see here is the, um, the shop deployed at two of our sites. If we can go back to the web and uh, Mark will just show you um, a couple of our websites. So the first one here, the, the ACBC shop, this one here. So this is actually our um, redeveloped website. It's not live yet, but it'll be live in a matter of days. So if you go to catholic.org.au, You'll actually see on the next tab there, Mark. Next tab, no, at the top. Next, uh, yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, you'll see that. So, um, see how the colours are brown there? Uh, the styling of um, the, um, all the text is brown. All of that styling is done back at the CSS at Equid. However, if you go back to, yep. Yeah, uh, Mark's done a wonderful bit of coding where he's built the CSS into the page um, and, and that's actually overridden um, the CSS back at Equid. Um, there's not scope in this talk to talk about all that styling stuff. I just want to um, show you how we deployed our, um, our... Now, just before you move on, just go back. Go, no, 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 go back to no, the, our developed site, our new site. Yep, yep. Now, what I want you to take note of here is that at our top-level domain, our main shop, all the product is showing, and I'm going to show you how that's done later and go back to the Catholic Inquiry Centre. Yep, so here is the Catholic Inquiry Centre um, uh, shop, and here is individual um, product items being shown, and I explain how that's done. If you can just go to the next one, the... Um, yep. And that's the, if you could scroll down, that'd be good. That's the shop at the National Office of Evangelization. So if we can go back to the PowerPoint. So back to Equid. Equid's actually really, really, really easy to set up. And the good news is it's free. A free account, um, you can have up to 15 products, I think, which is really great if you just want to test it or if you've only got a small number of products. And it's very easy. You can either set up an account yourself or you can use one of your third-party existing accounts such as PayPal, Facebook or Google to actually sign in. If we can go to the next slide. Now, how does Equid and Joomla fit together? Because remember, your stock and inventory are sitting over there at equid.com in your account. How do you connect it? I'm going to show you two methods today. The first method is using a third-party extension. And with the third-party extension, it's, uh, the extension is called Rock Equid, and that's available to download fee from the um, Joomla extensions directory. And, but we, using that method, you display all the product. Uh, there's no options to vary it. It's all the product. And the second method I'm going to show you is where you copy and paste code um, to show selected products. We can go to the next slide. So um, our setup. Yep, so we've got a main shop at catholic.org.au, which I already showed you. And then to start off with, we're trialling on um, Catholic Inquiry and also Evangelise Australia. So if you could go to the next slide. Yep, so with the first method, Using a third-party extension, this is just a screenshot from the Joomla extension directory. Um, very easy to download. 
Um, it's got component up next to equit, it says C and M, so there is a module, you can actually um, deploy it using a module as well. Um, but I've, I'm showing you the example of using a component. So to set it up, all you need to do is once you've set up your store in Equid, this is the back end of Equid, um, and you've uh, added some product. You could do this step before you add your product if you want, but uh, very easy to add the product. I can't show you today, this is not the time, it's very easy. You just go and harvest your store ID. The next slide. And then go back to the back end of your Joomla website. You go components, rock Equid and then just paste your um, store ID in there. And to make it appear on your Joomla site, you then go to the next slide. You just then go and add a new menu item. You go um, add new menu item and then select Rock Equid. Your next slide there. And so that's how the product looks on the front end of the site. If we can go to the next slide, please. Okay, the second method is where you simply copy and paste the code and what we're looking at here is the back end of Equid. Um, and you'll notice that uh, what I've got there is just the add to bag button ticked. You can, we, with our setup, we just use the add to bag button. But you can, if you want, select the picture of the product, the title, the price, the options, the quantity, so that you have a whole little module there of just that one product. Um, but we're just using the add to bag. Um, so back there, what you've got to do is copy that code and go to the Joomla site in the next slide. So, now I just need to explain something that adds a little bit of complexity, not really. But you can paste this code directly into a Joomla article. But if you don't know anything about how to um, uh, customise an editor, you know the editor, um, the article editor, um, say, for example, um, we've got JCE, apparently Mark was telling me yesterday that you can let it show, safely show JavaScript. If you don't know anything about that, and I would suggest that most people you set up websites for wouldn't know that necessarily. What will happen if you paste this code directly into an article, when someone comes along to open it and do some editing, if they haven't turned the editor off, then that JavaScript will be stripped. So. What I decided to do, the way I set it up, is that I used modules. So I actually deployed custom HTML modules. If you can just go back to the previous slide, please, um, Mark. And then I just pasted the code in. Uh, I'd make sure I turned off. You have to turn off the editor and then go in and just paste the code in. Just want to show you some features of this module and how I've set it up. Give it a meaningful name and we decided to use the product type and the product code and then, you know, keep, stay back there and then in position leave that blank, don't put anything for position um, and then uh, to be friendly for people who are using your site later on after you put a note there disable editor before viewing and then just paste the code in you can go to the next module. Now how do you put that into your article? Well, you can just code it in. I know that you can do that. But remember, I'm a low-tech person and also people looking after sites at the Catholic Inquiry Centre and Evangelise Australia are low-tech people. And also, you might end up with a whole massive number of items, mo separate modules, and you don't want to have to try and remember the name of the module. So I actually use this really cool extension called Modules Anywhere. And Modules Anywhere uh, is actually made by a man called Peter Van Westen, who was a presenter at the 2013 Melbourne Joomla Day. And I was impressed enough by um, Peter's credentials to trust his stuff. And you can find his products at no number. Uh, and I've, I provide that um, link um, on, on, the, um, you know, on this slideshow that you can get later. So what I want to show you now, what, uh, we're just showing you where uh, uh, underneath that item the, um, the code is to show that module, to embed that module. But what I want to do now is just a little brief demo of how Modules Anywhere works. And um, I've set up um, a dummy article here in um, the back end of the Catholic, um, Catholic Inquiry Centre website. 
And okay, so I want the button just there. This is uh, Peter's little button that he made up for modules anywhere. So I just click that. And hey presto, I can see all of the um, all of the modules. Can you just scroll it down, please? <clears throat> so if you know the um, product code, you can just search for it. And if you just click any one, any one will do. Yep, bingo, it's in there. Beautiful. Modules anywhere, it's a free download from the Joomla extensions directory. Okay, if we can go to the next slide. Yep, and there you go. That's how the Add to Cart button shows. And as I said, you can... We wanted to do it this way so that people can... The people looking after that shop can actually put their own information in. But you have to be really careful if you do it that way to make sure that the information you're providing in your article is compatible with what you've got entered into the inventory or the description of the product back at Equid because that will appear to the customer. If we can go to the next slide. So this is another instance of using the Add to um, Cart button. This is an article where the um, site administrator wanted to add more information and you could actually um, also add some links. Now the other reason that we did it this way and the benefits of doing it this way is that it's good for search engine optimization. Because remember, um, using um, the Rock Equid um, component, you're just feeding in from equid.com. So that code doesn't actually appear on the page and it's not very good for SEO. But what I actually found out in the knowledge base, the extensive knowledge base of Equid, is that if you want to enhance the SEO, you can then do it this way. Although Mark is telling me there's some other ways that you can do it. We don't have time to talk about today, but Mark's going to be here for the whole of the Joomla um, two days if you want to talk to him about anything to do with this. The other thing is that this method provides good user end, uh, end user control, so people looking after the shops can tweak the text um, to do with the product. Um, and uh, I think that's all I need to say about that particular one. And so this particular slide um, shows our um, two shops. I think we're running out of time, so I won't go back to those shops, but you get what I mean about how they work. And feel free to go to those um, in the resources. I give the links for these shops so you can go and have a look and see and feel how it all works. If we can go to the next slide. Now, I did talk about how there is social integration with this. And Mark's done a really wonderful bit of quick work for me to set this up in our Facebook page. If you can shoot over to um, the um, it's tab. Oh, I don't have it set up yet. Can you find it? No. Never mind. If you get... Hmm? Yeah, OK. It's ACBC1, and you'll be able to see it's live at the minute. If you can go to the next slide, please, Mark. OK. I don't have time to talk about this, but there are many different um, payment gateway methods and ones that you can set up at no cost, like PayPal, um, we have payment on delivery, etc. If you go to the next one. So, the benefits of Equid. First of all, you have central control. Keep going. Central control of, um, of, of all of your product and inventory. Uh, it's professional looking, so for a low-tech person it's perfect. It's responsive, so fully responsive, looks good in um, small devices. It has social sharing integration options um, as well as buttons on the product where people can go in and share or you could go in and share and get a bit of tweeting happening on a new product that you've got or Facebook a new product. It's efficient, very, very efficient and quick. You can have it set up in a matter of like minutes, hour, you know, like within an hour you could have a shop going. It's free for up to 15 products. For people who um, run charities or look after charities, you might be interested to know that we've been able to get the Venture Plan, which is up to 100 products, usually $15 a month, for free. And that's a six, six monthly renewable situation, so that's really wonderful. And it's also very easy. If we can go to the next slide, please. It's really important to think about what the issues are and the limitations. I think probably the biggest problem with Equid is that there's only one login. Not like Joomla where you can have different types of logins, only one login 
And so therefore, you have to minim have a minimum number of admins operating at that admin console, which um, just goes to prove how um, useful it is to have that single product deployment where people looking after shops can add more information. They don't need to get into Equid to do that stuff. Um, there is no accounting integration at the moment that I've been able to see. You can't actually plug in all of the finances into your MYOB or whatever accounting package you use. But Mark's going to look at seeing whether he can create a little connection thing where I can download the data and get it translated into MYOB data, which will be really good. Um, admin notifications, uh, at the moment all I can see um, is that all admin notifications go to everyone. Um, so that it, it, the Catholic Inquiry Centre shouldn't need to see National Office of Evangelisation um, sales notifications, but they do, and that's a little bit of a problem. Um, and uh, I've got here stock in various locations, I won't go into that, and also um, agreed pricing. So really, it's a one, it has to be a bit of a one-size-fits-all, so you need to get everyone to agree on things. So back to my business needs, I don't really need to go through them again, it was just really a wrap-up. Uh, yes, I've got all of those things with this particular solution and I'm very, very happy with it. So, has anyone got any questions? S save it for the break. Can I just tell you, Mark probably knows more about this software than me now. I'm actually going to have to go back to Canberra for a very important wedding in about an hour, so I won't be here. But feel free to approach Mark about anything and also how he's managed to customise things where you can override the sea, you know, uh, the styling and so forth uh, at Equid. Thank you very much.